Hello, and welcome again to Bees and Tea Stitching. Uh, I'm Tina, as always. Uh, this is a um, channel about cross-stitch. Uh, so for all of my um, regulars, hi, welcome back. Um, and uh, there are some new people, so yay, hi, cool, new people. Um, Alright, so I'll go ahead and I will uh, get this going. Um, so yeah, this week has been a little better week, kind of... Um, mostly uneventful, which is okay. Um, I am, wait, I got my favorite, ooh, my favorite bee mug. Um, I do have the window open over there, but it's kind of cloudy, so the light's kind of weird, so I apologize. Hopefully, there won't be too much of an issue, but, uh, so I'm drinking tea again. Yay! Uh, this is just basic, uh, PG Tips tea, nothing special, uh, no milk, just some sugar. I probably shouldn't have, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, I figured, uh, get back to my tea. I just, it just felt weird not drinking tea last week, but, you know, you can understand why. Um, so, go ahead and, uh, get on started here. So that's what I'm drinking. Um, personal life. Uh, like I said, things have been, um, a lot less eventful this week, which is nice. I'm wearing regular clothes. Woo! Anyway, so, uh, that's kind of nice. Getting back to normal, you know, um, I'm kind of learning what I can and can't eat. Um, you know, been a few little minor things, but, um, nothing, nothing really truly major, which is nice. Uh, so, that's, that's really cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it is what it is, so, there you go. Um, other than that. Uh, I really got back to work pretty much right away, so uh, pretty much the same. Um, I did get out, only went to the bank, so I didn't even get out of the car. Um, but that's the, and it, it's like very close by, so it was a very short trip. So I've been out once uh, since all of this, um, but it's probably going to be the last time for a bit. But anyway, so there's that. Um, that's pretty much about it for personal life. Not much is going on, thankfully. Uh, milk haul. So, got a little bit of milk haul. I'll try to go through this kind of quick, hopefully. Um, first off, uh, let me, um, thank everybody, obviously, for the well wishes. Um, um, I didn't do really long responses to their emails. So, um, Maria Heidich, I believe. Uh, Healing Gamer, Mary Skelton. Jojo853 and Nadine Nads Exitch. Uh, thank you all for the well wishes. I appreciate that. I'll, do, I'll kind of go through those quick. Um, Dien, D I N, um, ha, I get it. Um, I had a couple of, uh, a uh, couple of emails. The first one, um, she had said, or they said that, uh, Starnet was also, also their favorite piece of uh, art. Um, and she asked about the t shirt, which, Ironically, she was asking from a video two, three weeks ago, and I just happened to be wearing the same one. This is the patent that was Ole Kirk, oh, Godfrey Kirk Christensen, I thought I would get the wrong name there, um, actually did for the Legos in 19, uh, doesn't actually say what year, uh, does it? Wait, does it say the year at the top? Uh, 1958. There we go. So this is the um, the interlocking brick system uh, Legos um, patent there. So it kind of shows how they how they work and how they um, go together and everything. So there you go. That's because uh, I'm a gigantic Lego fan. Uh, actually, I did this before I was. Um, I did this before after I was sick. I think it was before. Anyway, I just took a whole... You know how you can go to the Lego store and you can get a container like this and fill that with stuff and make, you know, put as much as you can in there for, I don't know, 10 bucks or 12 bucks, something like that. So I took as much as I could out of it and I made like this weird shippy sort of thing. So there you go. But anyway, so yeah, I love Legos. Um... I don't know, do I need to, like, show off my Legos? I could do that, if anybody's interested. 
one. No one said anything. I don't think about the pops, so I won't worry about the pops. But if anybody cares about my Legos, I can always show a couple things. Uh, you can't, well, you can sort of see it back there. There we go, that way. Um, that's, like, over this shoulder here. That's the very top of the Ghostbusters Tower in Legos. So, that's cool. Uh, anyway. Something fell. We're fine. Anyways, so, uh, that's what that shirt is. Um, and also, and I apologize, I'll, I'll do this quick, and I apologize if I had already talked about this before, but my memory is crap. Um, but she was talking about how Starnet was also her favorite piece of art, and one of the main reasons why it was my favorite piece of art, uh, was my high school art teacher, and he was amazing. I mean, I, I think he's still around, but, um, I mean, he's long since retired, because I'm old. Um, but the, for our art history class, what he did was, I think it was in the last week of school, he brought his guitar, and, again, this is going to show my age, but, um, in the, like, late 70s, early 80s, there was a, um, a guy named, um, um, Don McLean, um, most people know him for American Pie, which I do love. Um, but also he did, uh, a song called Starry Night, and it's literally about, um, Vincent Van Gogh, and so he sang it, um, he sang it and played on guitar, and, um, it's just, it's amazing, I mean, it'll just, you know, it'll bring a tear to your eye, just, you know, having one person, one guitar, just singing that's really pretty. Uh, I will try as hard as I can to find maybe... A, uh, a version of a Don McLean's version. As far as I know, I've never seen that anybody ever recorded any versions of my high school teacher doing it. Um, but I can try to find the official version. Post that up. Because it's a really nice, really sweet, sad song. It's, it's not that long. It's not like eight minutes like American Pie. Um, so, there you go. Um, so that's that, that quick story. Um, she also had mentioned about... Um, that uh, she had some uh, kitten stitcher, uh, Ada, that was really, really soft. And I keep I keep meaning to get, I know her and her son, I think he goes under Graham Cracker, which is cute because his name is Graham. I get it. I gotcha. Anyway, so, um, uh, where are your guns? Anyway, so, uh, I, I keep meaning to get some of their fabric. It's just, I have so much fabric right now. I need to get rid of some what I have. But I, I really will end up getting some of her fabric sometime, I swear. Um, maybe sooner than later. Who knows? You never know with me. I could get a get some wild hair and just go and go and grab it. So yeah. Um, all right, so that's cool. So um um Diane Duggan and yay, I keep getting your name right. Um Yes, uh, Michelle uh Michelle Bundy is actually um stitching the, um, the G is for gallbladder, and, um, uh, she had meant to do it as a cell, but I kind of started it, and then I just ended up keeping working on it, and I think I finished it in, like, 24 hours, maybe 48 at the most. Um, I will show it, because it'll be my finish, woo! Um, but yeah, so, yeah, she is doing it, and I don't know where she's at right now with it. Um, I'm really bad about keeping up with Instagram both posting and looking. So, um, I mean, it, it's not a big pattern. So, I mean, if you, if you put your mind to it, you can finish it really quick. Um, as it's three colors, yeah, three colors and not very big, but, um, but yeah, so, um, I will be showing that. Um, and yeah, I, I got really lucky, I think with my doctor, um, I love that my office is less than 10 minutes away. I go less than 10 minutes door to door from, from my house to the, my doctor's office. And so I think I got really lucky that she was very, very, um, on top of what was going on. So, yeah. Um, Michelle also, uh, Bendy Sitchi also, uh, responded and, um, 
yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, I meant to sell it with you, but then I just got started, and I just kind of finished it, and sorry, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I'll try to do this one kind of quick, because it was a nice, it was a great long, uh, comment, and I love nice long comments, and I like making nice long comments back, um, but, uh, Carolina Miskiewicz, I believe, I think I'm saying it right, um, was talking about how there's no more thread heaven. It's now thread magic, but it's more expensive. Um, I'll probably end up trying it one of these days. I mean, it's not high on my list, but I, I do, she, she was talking about how it's good for metallics. Um, and I do have some things that have some chronic. So once I start getting, I have a, uh, what is the brand? It was Stony Creek, I think. Um, they had this big, huge, um, Halloween thing that I really want to do. Um, so, you know, when it kind of starts getting towards the end of summer, I might start thinking about starting it. Um, and that has a lot of chronic in it. So if I get closer to that, I may use it. Um, I, I assume that the thread magic is okay on chronic. It doesn't cause any, um, uh, you know, miscoloration or anything. So if anybody knows, you know, uh, anything I need to look out for, please tell me before I do that. Um, but yeah, so, and, and I'm really sorry. She, she talked about a, a bad experience that she had at the, um, at the ER and I'm, I'm sorry about that. I mean, unfortunately, I think there's a lot of horror stories out there. They're, they're great people and I know they work hard. So I, you know, I don't want to badmouth anybody in nursing, um, nursing, uh, any doctors, nurses. Cause I, I have friends who are doctors, nurses. I have family members who are uh, in the medical profession. So and I know they work hard, but you know, there's always those times when it's just, you know, something happens. And it's not a good experience. It just, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, so, oh yeah. And they're also talking about, um, long, she was also talking about longer videos. Um, my sweet spot for watching because I have a terrible attention span, like that, like, yeah, maybe that big, maybe that big, big. But, um, so my kind of sweet spot is usually between about, um, maybe 25 and 45 minutes. Now I will watch shorter and I will watch longer. Um, there was one person, I want to say maybe it was Jesse Marie does stuff that had like a two and a half hour and I sat there and I watched the whole thing and it was great. I think it was a, um, uh, it was a, um, Remember if it was a finish parade, maybe it was a, I think it was a whip parade, and I because I I love being a good whip parade, love. So you know if somebody has a two and a half hour whip parade, I will watch that. So yeah, so that's that. Um, and Pam Dumont uh, actually she kind of did the same thing I did, which was um, my, originally um, for years and years I've been seaweed daughter on uh, YouTube, and I mean I still am. I mean, I still have the name, um, but when I made a, uh, floss tube, I, I made a new account, this one, B's and T's. And, uh, so Pam DeMond actually did the same thing. She is now stitching in the land of good enough. Um, I haven't now, and she actually started a, um, a floss tube. Yay! And she has two videos out already. So I'm already way behind. I have already subscribed to you. I haven't had time to watch yet, so I don't know what the story behind your name is yet. So hopefully you told us. Um, if not, tell us next time. But yeah, I'm already subscribed. I'll watch. I'll watch you this weekend. Um, <coughs> excuse me, today or tomorrow, whenever um, I can get a few minutes. Um, but I will definitely, definitely keep watching. So yay, another floss tuber. I'm such a bad influence. Not really. Um, see, the horns keep the halo up. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so that, um, um, that's actually really, really cool. Um, I think that is about it for the, um, uh, emails. Oh, um, also, sorry, back to Carolina. Uh, she was talking about how, um, she has, I think, I believe Maria Brobko is the one who did my smog, who is still in timeout, by the way. He's still been naughty. I, I need to get back to work on him. Anyway, but, um, so, Marie Borovko has some really nice, um, uh, patterns. 
and I think I've linked to her before um, when I did the smog. Um, and so uh, she has some, she has other ones that are also related to Lord of the Rings and some other ones. Um, but she has that kind of, I don't want to say Russian because I don't know if she's Russian specifically, but Eastern European style where there's a lot of back stitching and it looks really, really good, but it's also very hard. Um, and so it, this, um, doing smog has been a little bit of a trial by fire because, uh, I've been, uh, struggling a little bit with the, um, the back stitching and the, uh, um, um, the uh, mixed colors and things like that. Not mixed colors, but you know what I mean? Like two colors using two different th threads. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, I mean, it, the result that you get looks really nice. So, you know, if you put in the work, you can get a nice result. But I'm not putting in the work right now. He'll he'll come out of timeout soon. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess that's about it for the um, mail call, really. Uh, mail call Q&A thing. Um, new starts. I no. I this is yeah. This was a new start because I I didn't start it. Um, I didn't have it started last time. So, um, from and I did not hold on one second. I apologize. Where was it? This one? No. Uh, I apologize. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. So this is in my. This is in my um. Bag from. From Vicky Stitch and Buttons, the Beagles. Yay. So, um, I, and I apologize. I don't remember. No, I think I did actually start this. I don't think this is a new start. I think this is a whip. And I, so I apologize. Um, Shakespeare's Peddler, Antique Cups and Spoons. Um, it's either a new start or a whip. I apologize. My, like I said, my memory's crap. So, um, I also have Antiques, lock, Locks of Keys. So, um, um, that's going to be done as well. I believe it's, I think I have it on the same fabric. So, oh, let me actually tell you what, I'm going to pop this out of the hoop really fast because it's kind of being covered. So, um, this is what I've done so far. It's not quite halfway. It's a pretty small pattern. And, uh, yeah, because I think this is a whip because I remember talking about the holes last time. Um, but yeah, the holes are supposed to be there. That's what's in the pattern. And I've got my, uh, my two Alice in Wonderland. Ha <laughs> ha! Becky Stitchy. Don't be jelly. Uh, anyway, but, um, so I've got my two uh, Neomonders there. But this is Brown Bear by Weeks, I believe? General Arts. I'm sorry, General Arts. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing it, I'm doing all of them in an up and down pattern. So they're all getting that same variegated pattern. So, um, and uh, I plan to do the other one in the same, I think it's the same, I hope it's the same fabric, um, but it's definitely the same, uh, the same thread. So that is that, uh, that is my only whip because the other one that I worked on is a finish, ah, which is not actually a surprise because I talked about it. And this, um, I think... I believe that was on, what's it called? Like vintage white chocolate mocha or something of that sort. Um, or white mocha or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly. I apologize. Um, but this is on a little scrap of um, Fortnite fabrics that I got. They sent, I think I won it. Um, they sent a whole bunch of little scraps and they're pretty small. So I've been having a really hard, they're, beautiful but i've been having a really hard time finding small patterns that'll fit on them so this one was really close in the amount of um border that i wanted to do on it but um this is g is for gallbladder yay uh one of them is a call for color that's grasshopper uh i believe that's gassed as well gaster weeks um and the other two were two colors that um, I just found that were pretty close. Um, but yeah, so there you go. G is for gallbladder. Got a little bit of back stitching. Um, that's about it, actually. And whole stitches. And it the, the is for does not show up all that well. 
Um, let's, it's blowing out a little bit. It's, the, this fabric is darker than it looks there. Um, don't know, does that help any? Not really, no. But it, it's, it's a bit darker than it looks here. But, uh, there you go. So that is the start and finish for G's for Gallbladder. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I do want to do something with it, because, you know, I'm kind of weird like that. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll figure something out, I suppose. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's that. So those are the only, only, only things that I've actually, um, uh, worked on for, um, for right now. So, um, that's my one whip and my one finish. Um, I've been, have been kind of monogamous lately, which I know makes it a little less interesting, so I don't get to show you a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I, next week I'll probably either do a little bit more stitching on other things. Maybe I'll bring a, a small guy of time out, or maybe I'll just show again, just, you know, so you guys have a little bit more stitching to look at, because I know that's a little less interesting when you don't have enough, when you don't have a whole lot of stitching to, uh, to look at, so, sorry. Um, all right, so that's New Stars, Works in Project, um, Works in Progress, uh, finished, nothing FFO'd. Uh, I still have not worked on that, um, the project for the, uh, I think it's Stitcher's Cup, I believe. Uh, we're doing the Halloween exchange. There's still plenty of time. I don't think I have to ch send it till September. And it should be a very simple stitch. Um, so it's finished stitching. I just need to put it together. Um, and then I'll need to get the whatever I want to add to the little package. Um, but that I want to do closer to time. So, you know, if I get something like candy or something that's, you know, I don't want it to go bad or anything, that'd be, be kind of sucky. So, that's, um, that's about that. Um, plans? I would really love to finish this uh, Antique Cups and Spoons, but it's been going a lot slower than I thought. I mean, it's not hard. It's a lot of mindless stitching. I mean, you're having to do some counting to make sure, you know, things are where they're supposed to be. But, um, you know, it's really simple. So, I honestly thought that it would go faster than it has been. I mean, yeah, some shit's been going on. Oh, sorry. Oh, well. I curse. Sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah, some stuff's been going on. So, um, I'm hoping maybe it'll pick up, um, you know, and... Uh, I would love to get them both done. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them together, but I don't know. Maybe I can find either matching frames or uh, double frame them or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I guess that's about it for that. Um, so, haul or retail therapy. Um, not a whole lot. Um, I did get a couple more hoops. I know. I have, I have tons of hoops now, which is great. I think I might have gotten a small one that I already put up. Like, like a five inch one, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's not really all that interesting. Um, this is for the Hade. Um, I got the last few colors that I needed, four or five of them. The ones here at the top. I mean, it's it's DMC, you know, some 935, some 3799, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Not really all that interesting. Um, but I needed like one specific color and I was not gonna like order just one color. So, uh, or get one color. So what I decided to do was, well, I figured I might as well start, uh, you know, get a few more colors and, uh, kind of start filling out my box a little bit. Um, so I got like, I, I got the first few, boy, these are not going to come in well. Let's see, hold on. Will this help at all? Not really, no. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, but I got the first few colors from DMC. So this is two, which is a really nice kind of medium gray silver. Three, which is a little darker. I am sorry. I don't know why this is blowing out so badly. Uh, four, a bit darker. Uh, five, which is pretty light. Six. I know this is exciting, isn't it? Uh, seven and eight. Also got an extra thirty-seven ninety-nine because I don't know. I always need them, and I ran out. And then uh, for my LNS, 
Oh, and, and also, obviously, to bobinate. So, got some uh, bobbins. Um, and also, like I was saying, because I'm going to use um, Brown Bear from Gentle Art, um, I I really thought, I, I really underestimated, like, how much I'm going to need, especially because I'm going to do it on two different projects. Um, so I got some more Brown Bear. I got four, and I already bobinated, but I got four of the um, uh, Brown Bear from Gentle Art. So, wow. I'm, I don't know. There we go. Of course, it's not showing up. There we go. So, um, that is really about it, I think, for the haul. Oh, I think I grabbed one or two from the LNS. Uh, a couple more of these little scissors, too, because those are always good. But uh, that should be it for haul. Just lots of really little things. Nothing, nothing major. Oh! I apologize. I actually kind of lied about that. Um, I had already ordered this from my LNS, so I'd already paid for it. Um, but And I think I talked about it, but I finally got um, Baby School Outside. And it is all uh, kitted up. Um, these are all the call for colors, except that they didn't. she didn't have the the green. So I chose, I believe it was a, it was another green that, um, I thought was kind of close from the LNS. I didn't have anything, um, I didn't have anything in particular that I thought was close. And I don't have a really nice, I'm, I'm kind of out of these nice kind of basic browns. So this is a smoky mauve. Let's see how much I can, eh. It's really nice. It's got a little tiny kind of warm color to it and a little bit of um a little bit of modeling to it. It's color and cotton. One of my um monthly color and cottons. Um but it has so these are all called for. This is shaker white, grits. Uh I love this color. This it's a very bee color. Um Harvest Moon. Um, this is the one, uh, hold on, um, pomegranate and picnic basket, which I think is a fairly common color. Um, but this is English Ivy from, uh, from Classic Color Works. And, um, so since she didn't have the, um, she isn't, uh, Donna, my, my illness lady, <laughs> who is awesome. Um, she didn't have that one particular green that's supposed to be in here. Uh, I think that English Ivy is going to work all right. Because there's not a lot of green in it. It's just a little bit, um, around here and a little bit in the trees. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Uh, I think it should be close enough. Um, but yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are doing that, um, that's a little bit better actually. Uh, maybe it's cold outside. So... I don't know when in particular I'll get it started. It is ready to go. Um, but, um, no, we'll, we'll see. Because it's, it's bigger than I thought it was. It's not huge. It's a 159 by 103, so it's not big. But it, it's a little bigger than I expected it to be. So, I may not be a start really particularly soon. But we'll see. We'll see. Tea break. good but unfortunately I'm starting to get a little cold because I was ill prepared so I had to I started this realized I needed to do a crap load of other things and then stopped it so by the time I came back cold tea oh well whatever it's all right I'll survive somehow anyway so um so yeah I think we'll go um through my last few things here uh, first off is uh, the floss of the week. Of course, I, I, I have to do this now. It's going to be Stitching in the Line of Good Enough, uh, Pandemont. So I'll put her link down. Um, and uh, so everybody want, everybody should go, go watch her. Because um, she is just starting out, obviously. Um, and so we definitely want to encourage her. Uh, so definitely go go take a look. And I, like I said, I promise I will take a look very, very soon. Um the stitching website of the week. I'm going to go with um, Bendy Stitching Designs because um, I've actually talked about her a couple times so far this week. 
and uh, she just has some really, really cute designs. Um, I, I think there's, there's a lot of them I'd like to get. And there's a couple, unfortunately, that were like specialty ones um, for um, um, for short times. Uh, like she, she was doing a couple of charity ones that I've missed. Uh, so I, unfortunately, I missed out on a couple of really cool ones. Um, but I, she has one that says, you're okay, I guess, which I love. I really need to grab that one one of these days. I'll, I'll grab it soon because I, I really want to stitch that. Um, for the um, non-stitching website of the week, I'm going to go with shirt.woot.com. I don't remember if this was a Woot shirt or not, but um, Woot is a company that's W-O-O-T. They are, it's a little hard to explain. They have a lot of things kind of like Amazon, but um, they, I guess they're kind of like a smaller Amazon, but um, they're a tiny bit more specialized. They're not, they don't branch out quite as much. Um, and they also have specific um, uh, things that they do a little bit more. They'll have like a, a shirt section or they'll have a kid section or they have like an electronic section um and, and they're really kind of fun and quirky and they also have something called a woot off which is um you have to be really fast at um because they'll post them randomly and if you can get in on that woot off um there's something called a box of crap and it's kind of as advertised and i haven't done it in a long time uh, last one i did was probably early last year, but what you do is it's a certain price. I think it's maybe 10 bucks and they will literally ship you anything. It's a box. It'll be a box of something and you will not know what you're getting. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten t-shirts before. Um, oh God, what have I gotten? I've got a TV mount once. Um, I got some, uh, car wax once. Um, Oh, uh, what else have I gotten? Uh, like a iPad case, but I don't have an iPad. Um, I've gotten like kids t-shirts that are like, you know, like this big. Um, oh God, I can't, I can't think of everything I've gotten. Um, I mean, sometimes you get stuff that you like, like, um, we got some silicone ice trays, which were nice. Um, we've got, um, I think I got like a six pack of, um, like, iPhone cases or something. I mean, it's it's super, super random as to what you get. And a lot of times it is just going to be crap, but sometimes it's good stuff. Um, you know, and whatever I get that I don't use, you know, in the past, I would just give to Goodwill. So it's not like, you know, it doesn't go to waste. Somebody's going to end up using it somewhere. Uh, so, so, yeah. So that's uh, always interesting. But but the shirt, um, the shirt dot woot is, um, a lot of really, like I said, just funny, quirky, silly sort of t-shirts. Um, and I've actually had to stop going to woot because between woot and T public, they've taken way too much of my money. So I think this is actually an official Lego shirt. I think it has an actual Lego tag on it. So I don't think it's woot, but I do have some woot shirts. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to put something up on Instagram. I'll have to find one of my woot shirts. But uh, but yeah, they're they're funny. So definitely check them out. Uh, but just be careful because you can you can fall down the woot rabbit hole and it can be deep. So forewarning. So don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> so yeah, that's about that. Um, and the random bee fact of the week: uh, bees love blue, and they love cluster plants like lavender, rosemary. So there you go. If you want to, you know, bring on the bees, which I would love to. Um, rosemary is like, it's like a weed. My, my parents, I guess my mom planted rosemary years ago, maybe kind of as a joke, just to see what would happen. And that plant has literally taken over their driveway. It's ridiculous. They cannot kill it. It smells great though. You know, when you when you drive up to their house, you can smell the rosemary. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure I could take a clipping and 
plant it, and it probably would be, it probably would be good. So I might do that. Uh, of course, I've been to my parents' house in a while. They they live in the same town, just north, about maybe twenty twenty minutes away or so. Um, so uh, twenty twenty five minutes. So I mean, I could go visit them, but you know, the whole this whole thing uh, is kind of preventing me from doing that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Because I would love to have more bees. We, we, I have um, uh, a row of, of um, kind of bushes at the front of our house. So we do get bees. Um, but, you know, I mean, anything obviously I could do to encourage more would be good. Um, unfortunately, we have wasps too. You know, this is the South, so we got wasps and dirt daubers and that sort of thing, unfortunately. So... I try not to mess with them unless they actually start trying to build their nest in my house. Then all bets are off. So we've had to uh, kill a few wasp nests around both where our front door is, which is not cool. I mean, come on, seriously. Front door? No. Uh, also by our garage. So those seem to be the two places they like. But it's been good lately, knock on wood. I don't have any wood to knock on, but, uh, <laughs> anyway. But, um, they haven't tried to build in a while, so we'll see. Um, that is really about it. Uh, this is run on long enough. It's about, about in the middle of my sweet spot, about 36 minutes, so it's not too bad. Um, I guess that is about it. Uh, can't think of anything else. So you guys have a good week and uh, stay cool. It's definitely starting to warm up around here. Uh, but we're still getting a crap load of rain. I mean, this whole winter and spring in the south has been super rainy, like more rainy than ever. So um, the fact that I'm seeing some blue sky today is nice. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, stay safe. Stay home if you can. Um, take an umbrella if you can, I guess. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.